that he heard in one of my lectures and he got this confusion. There is a lecture of mine where I explain the hadith seven are underneath the shade of Allah Azza wa Jal on the day of judgment. And he's saying that one of them is those who do not ask others to perform ruqya. And this is not true. That's another hadith where the Prophet told us alayhi salatu wasalam, about 70,000s of his ummah that would enter paradise without any accountability or being tormented. And one of them is those who do not ask others for ruqya. So we got this point clarified, inshallah. His question is, if I go to someone and say, Akhi, make dua for me. Tomorrow I have an exam. Or make dua that Allah pays off my debt. Would that exclude me from the 70,000? The answer is no, because the, those who are excluded are those who ask for ruqya. If I have jinn possession, black magic, envy, or evil eye, or if I have an illness, a sickness, I'm f uh, suffering pain, and I ask someone to do ruqya on me to relieve me from my pains, then this would exclude me. Asking people for dua is totally permissible.